Can you do me a favor and go and check that we're at, it's filming at that angle? Somebody like go onto our Facebook Oh, page? oh, 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 I see Because it's live. Uh, go on your phone. I don't, I don't, have, I don't Facebook. have Facebook. I don't have Facebook. What? I don't have Facebook. Still not working? Oh, sorry. Hang on. Where's Facebook these days? I just, I clicked it on the, oh, oh yeah. god. Okay, we're just trying to get set everything up. <laughs> Alrighty. Come on, we're a bunch of surfers. What's up, great. everybody? We uh, we got two people watching already. Uh, I so think, I uh, think the Instagram one had what, like fifteen or something. Like yeah. That? yeah. Okay. Alrighty. So let's just check. Can you see the phone in there? Or? That shit. Mickey Surfing says hello. We can't say hello to everybody because it's stuck on a thing, okay, and we're now live. <laughs> Can, is uh, um, is uh, this uh, phone in the way? Up oh, this one. Joey, it's fine. <laughs> I'm sure I'm sure it is, but it doesn't matter. Yeah. Wait, where's my piece of paper? Okay, okay everybody. Sure. You're the tallest, so you're gonna have to stand here. Who me? Because literally, it's like blocking, like right here. Okay, cool. <clears throat> yeah, go right here. Yeah. Perfect. Okay, everybody in. Okay, I'm gonna have to stand pretty close to you guys. There we can scooch. We got space. Probably Sweet. Standing, probably over there well. So we like literally recording. So we're on live Instagram. We're on live uh, Facebook. And we've also got a mic on here, which isn't live, but okay. So uh, I'd like to introduce uh, these three fools. Yeah. Such a Joey. Yeah. This one. <laughs> Chapin, Dylan, Shoots. and Joey. And these guys are part of the OC crew. So self styled. Uh, Demons of Water Man. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So the reason we come live is because these guys had a, a great experience um, uh, that they got an opportunity through lifeguards. All three of these guys are, are riders for us. And they also got a great opportunity to go to New Zealand, which was for the lifeguard, the junior lifeguard program was junior lifeguards, right? Yeah, yes. okay. So it was junior lifeguard program. Um, these guys have all since um, done their trials for for uh, the big boy program. So uh, I'm sure we'll find out a little bit about that. But uh, what we wanted to do, we wanted to get them here on a Sunday. So uh, thanks very much for coming in, of course, um, of course. spending their uh, their Sunday. And I've got a couple of questions I wanted to run past. Um, if anybody has any questions for them about the lifeguard program, uh, it's only us four here, so as you can see, we're all actually in front of the camera as opposed to behind it. So if you have any questions, if you've got any um, comments about, um, you know, maybe doing the lifeguard program and also the um, the going to New Zealand, if anybody's from New Zealand, if you've got any comments about that, um, f please feel free just to put it in the in the comment section in the Facebook Live um, and actually on our Instagram, you're welcome to ask questions about that and we can always, we don't know it, then I'm sure these guys can answer, but if, uh, yeah, so we won't be able to say anything while while this is filming, so please bear that in mind and don't get all like, like that. Okay <laughs> <coughs> guys, um, so I want you guys to tell us a bit about the, uh, the Lifeguard program. Um, Basically, this I guess is for all of you. It's like, how old were you guys when you started? I started when I was nine, is like eight, eight going into nine. So okay. when I was very young. Cool. I started the same. I was the same year as Chapin, nine going into ten. He's a little older than me, so he was turning ten a little before me. But yeah, my parents basically forced me into it. That early, me, too. me too. Yeah, I started Early's off when I was nine as well. So. Cool. In a little C group. So actually, uh, it actually reminds me of, um, I actually met all of these guys at, I, Chapin, I don't know if I met you. I know I definitely <laughs> met you. Yeah. At, um, so I've known these, these guys since, when did we like? I was four years ago. Four years ago. I was four. He was three and he was like two and a half or three. Yeah, I think. Years ago, happened. not like age. Um, so yeah, I met all these guys at a um, at a little event that we did was put on for the at the Huntington Beach uh, Junior Lifeguards thing. And that's how we got to meet. So I've kind of literally watched these guys grow up. Uh, I was at one point quite a bit taller than all of them, and now no longer. <laughs> so that's also and I had hair except for him. And I had hair I'm when I shorter. started. <laughs> cool. <laughs> <Shook him. laughs> <Okay>. So. <laughs> 
So tell me, uh, so you guys, I guess this actually answers the, the question of like when you guys started, um, how long you've been part of, of doing lifeguards. Um, so I don't know if you want to. Do you want to answer this? Sure, I, I, I've done it for four years. Um, <laughs> That's it? Yeah, I had a knee injury, so I had to stop um, in the middle, but I got yeah. back into it. <laughs> you had yeah. to bring that out, right? Yeah, yeah so. Yeah. I, I've been in for geez, seven, eight years now. We did seven. And, yeah, seven, seven years, and uh, two years of, three years of C's, two years of the B division, and then two years of the uh, A division. I did the same as Dylan, so, yeah. Mm -hmm. Sweet. Um, so, Tell me, like, how did you guys get involved in, in doing junior lifeguards? Um, specifically, obviously, like, you guys are just going into into senior lifeguards now, right? As of, mm -hmm. like, mm -hmm. this year. We're so, be the, the so what we're talking about is junior lifeguards. So if any of you guys are interested in doing the junior lifeguards, um, again, just comment below, because um, we won't be able to do it now. But um, So how did you guys get involved? Like, what was the motivation, I guess? Uh, for me, my parents wanted me to do it, because... They want, so, wanted so me, yeah. like when I'm older, that they would trust me going to the beach by myself. Cool. And also all my friends are doing it, so that's kind of how I got into it. Cool. Yeah, it was pretty much the same with me. My friends are doing it. My mom wanted me to do it because she did it and all her brothers did it. And it opened up so many outlets for them with lifeguarding and different jobs. And because it's such a prestigious position, when you move on in life, it really helps to have it on your resume. And it's just so much fun. Cool. Same as those guys, but I actually wanted to do it. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> He was motivated. Yeah, yeah motivated. I was, I was stoked. Yeah, yeah, I was kind of forced into it, and then once I got into it, I just loved it. Yeah, the first week, yeah. you guys loved it. It was so fun. So Hanging out at the beach every day. Yeah. So. Um, and then you have to swim the pier. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so it Freaked out. Yeah, I mean, so I, I mean, it teaches you. I know because yeah. you know I did. Uh, you know, it's you know swimming. We we had a different setup in South Africa where I come from, but. I mean, super prestigious, like, everybody looks up to the lifeguards and stuff, so it's, a, it's, it's awesome, especially for kids to do, because knowing ocean safety is, like, paramount. If you're going to go out and you're going to, um, you, you know, you're going to handboard or surf or do anything out in the water, you really need to know how to yeah. handle yourself, yeah, and I definitely. think, like, junior lifeguards really, really does that. It yeah. um, teaches you from a young age, mm -hmm. too, as well. Uh, not only to, you know, to do well in the water, but also to respect it, yeah. so... Um, so tell me a little bit about the tryout process. Uh, you know, tell us how, how's that how's that go for anybody who you know wants to try do it. Um, like, tell us a little bit about the. I, I guess Dylan, you can you can tell us. We don't need to hear from everybody. But. Yeah, it's a uh, 100 yard swim, and if you're just going into the program, I think you have a minute 50, and if you're a little older, I think you have to make it in a minute 40, and then you have to swim. 10 yards underwater without coming up for a breath, and then you have to tread water for two minutes, which is easy. I think it's five. So those or are the, five, five so minutes. basically tryouts, yeah. and, yeah. Then, uh -huh. and then you go into actually doing... Yeah, and then program. you're into the program, and then the first week, you know, depending on what age you are, is um, your tryout week and for the program, and that's where they place you in your different um, skill levels yeah. so that you're not stuck with uh, anyone else. If you can swim, it's pretty easy. Yeah, it's pretty easy. <laughs> <laughs> so if you can, uh, yeah, if you can hold your breath and swim, but... Um, you know, that doesn't take away from the fact that when you actually start doing it, you've actually got to know your stuff. Yeah, right? yeah. So, mm -hmm. um, or she drown. Simple. Well, not <laughs> yeah. So tell me, what's your, you know, like, we'll go through all three of you, like, what's, what's your favorite thing about being a, a junior lifeguard? Just, what, like, one favorite thing mm -hmm. that you would say, like, off the top of your head that you really mm -hmm. love about doing it? Mm -hmm. uh, my favorite thing, <laughs> being a... Uh, being the talker, I guess. <laughs> My favorite thing is uh, I did two years of safety years because I did not do captains because I was sent to Tahiti by Steve Angelo, which was a thousand times better for me. <laughs> <laughs> and then, uh, and then uh, but. <clears throat> My favorite thing is just being a part of that kid's first pier swim. That's being a safety aid. You're helping make that run smoothly. And when you see the stoke on their faces that they finished it, that they finally swam the pier, and it's it's just so much fun to be able to be part of that and help them because you were once in that position, and you know how much you looked up to the safety aids and how much they helped you and how stoked you were to finish and how stoked they were for you. It just made it such an awesome experience. Cool. I think for me, the just hanging out at the beach every day and doing something that. I know it would benefit me later because I I've always wanted to be a lifeguard and I know that while having fun at the beach and also learning you know life skills and that could potentially help me in an emergency situations and it's gotten me into body surfing and opened up a ton of doors so yeah it teaches you a lot about um, you know definitely uh, you know respect in the ocean mm -hmm. and also like you know 
like you said, how to get jobs later on because you got a night like it's you know good base point. Yeah, yeah, it's got a good base point because you're actually part of something that people respect. So, mm -hmm. Chapin. Uh, for me, it's spending the summer with all my friends every day. That's pretty fun, and I'm pushing myself to go my limits. Mm -hmm. It's good cool. times for the boys. Awesome. Boys. So it's a lot about camaraderie, about being out there, right? So you guys, um, you guys, this is basically what the what you know what this whole interview is about. Is these guys got an awesome experience? Trust me, I I this is something I would have wanted to do for sure. Um, and these guys are all, you know, 16, 17. Am I right? 16. Yeah. 17. Right. Um, so they got the opportunity to go to New Zealand and um, that was like basically with the, the junior lifeguard. So I want you guys just to tell you a bit about it. Um, Dylan, like, so tell me a bit about the process, the application process. Well, how many years is it? Is it you have to be three years or is it five? Um, three. It's you have to be three, three years. years in the program. And I think two of them have, well, you have to be six, you have to be the 14. 14. So basically how it works is you have to be going into the A division or be in the A division already. And what you do is there's an application process and you send in your application for it. Is that the what it happens, right? So yeah, as far as the application process, <laughs> I remember... Um, there's you like gotta get dressed up in a in a suit, yeah. and it's it's basically like a it's like a, an it's interview, a job, right? yeah. like it's, it's a job it's, interview, uh -huh. which is awesome. Like any kids, like um, to understand how to do a job interview is super important, and to actually yeah. go and do mm -hmm. one, which is super yeah, cool. it's super formal. And then once you pass your screening, you go to the first interview, and they ask you basic questions. And then if you pass that, you're into the second interview, which is even more rigorous and more specific questions. And then if you pass that, you're on the team. Awesome. Sweet. Or unless they say, <laughs> unless they say you're not on the team. Yep. But then you are. Uh huh. Because then you're bummed. Then you get the really email happy. five minutes later. They, they actually right. messed up. That's, that's, what happened. Happened. that's what happened to him. They email me and they're like, "Sorry, you didn't make it." And these guys all made it. Uh huh. So I was, was like, so bummed. I was like, "Shoot!" And then twenty minutes later, no, 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 no you made it. He gets an email. Right. Mess up. Yeah. Exactly. We messed you up. You're actually on the team. <clears throat> Okay, that's not cool. It's no. a bit like the Oscars thing. Yeah. There you go. Steve Harvey. <laughs> oh, wait. Yeah. Yeah. Steve Harvey. Um, so tell us, uh, t tell us a little bit. Well, uh, hang on. That's the wrong question. <laughs> so how many people were chosen to go? 36. 16 guys, 16 girls. Mm -hmm. okay. that, doesn't, that doesn't add up, Joey. 30. 36. <laughs> no, 30. No, listen, 18. 30. No, 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 including the coaches. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we, got, we got a mathematical uh, no, no, line. 18 boys, 18 girls. Okay, well, and then there's the coaches. Whatever. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so we got 18 boys, 18 girls. Right, Joey's so not good at math. Better than you. <laughs> really? Yeah. You didn't know that 16 plus 16. No, because I was including the I wouldn't know what that is. Right I just now. round, I don't know. I, was just, I know it's 36. You don't round with whole numbers. <laughs> I was rounding. Oh. Okay, so. Um, <laughs> so often. Okay, we're over that now. Um, so, the actual trip itself, so where did you guys actually go in New Zealand? So tell us a little bit about that, like, what do you, what do you guys, firstly, what do you guys think of New Zealand? Or what do you think of the Kiwis? It's, they're so it's awesome. So awesome. Yeah. They're, they're so, so cool. cool. So, so cool. chill. I mean, so like, did you guys get any rugby games or anything? No. Uh, we watched rugby cricket yeah. on the TV yeah. a lot. Yeah, because cool. yeah. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's all there is over there. Yeah. So, um, cool. Um... You know, what, do you, what, what did you guys get up to while you were there? Uh, so once we got with our uh, billets, we got to surf, body surf, go in the ocean. But other than that, the first whole week was touring the South Island. So we went uh, souvenir shopping. We went on Franz Joseph Glacier and hiked through the Glacier Valley. We did whitewater rafting. We did... What else did we do? Wasn't the whitewater rafting? That was, that was with our billets. That was with the billets. Was, but, um, yeah, we flew into Auckland, and then we had then we left um, like an hour and a half later. We flew into Queenstown, mm -hmm. and then we stayed there a night and walked around Queenstown, and then we went from there to Franz Joseph Glacier. Mm -hmm. and then, then from there, we stayed there, what, two days? Mm -hmm. Two days. Yeah, <clears throat> sweet. And then we drove down to Christchurch, mm -hmm. yeah. and then we stayed there for, for, Christmas. Christmas, for Christmas, and mm -hmm. then... Um, and then we flew to Rotorua on the North Island, mm -hmm. and then um, well, actually, show. Yep, we went and saw a sheep being sheared. Mm -hmm. Wasn't that Christmas Day? <laughs> actually, taking us back a second, will. like when did you guys actually go? What were the dates? It's December. Because you said over Christmas. Eighteenth right? or January seventh. Okay, seventh. Yeah. We got back on seventh. Cool. Yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> so tell me, like, what what was the one thing you, like you could, if you could, you know, you came back yeah. and you were like, this is what you have to do in New yeah. Zealand. Uh -huh. Oh. 
The luge. You have to lose. The luge was insane. Yeah. I have to say. Where is that? Rotorua, right? There's Rotorua, and then there's White Queen Sound, too. So I spent, I spent like a month going up and down just the North Island. I kind of really wish I'd done South Island too. I've heard it's amazing, but. Um, yeah, I did the luge, yeah, did like right. Raglan and oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, so tell me what, what would be the one thing that you guys I mean luge was luge uh-huh. is awesome, that's the one thing I would point right, out, yeah. but do you guys uh-huh. have any You gotta okay. visit Tyria. Yeah Ty- for yeah. sure. That, that coastal place. town is just it's perfect. so laid back. It's so chill. laid back, everyone knows each other, everyone's super friendly. Everything's walking distance. Everything's walking distance. So where is that? <clears throat> Uh, it's east Coast. Coast. The Coromandel Peninsula. Coromandel yeah. Peninsula. It's on the East Coast. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Sweet. Yeah. Um, so tell me, what did you guys, if anything, learn from the entire experience? How they do their lifeguarding over there and how they use like the IRBs, which are the mm-hmm. inflatable rescue boats. Or rubber boats. boats. The inflatable ru- the rubber, rubber boats. boats. Um, and how they do their whole thing over there. And, yeah. and just also just kind of just experiencing their culture and mm-hmm. yeah it's pretty and cool how they yeah. do things differently and drive on the wrong side of the road yeah walking on the wrong side of the road and, yeah that was, that was really so you guys got to compete against everybody or like um, did you actually do like did, what was the actual purpose of you guys going under there was oh. it was it <laughs> essentially i mean Obviously, well, to have a good time and to experience yeah. a different yeah. culture, which, yeah, is, so, which is all you need. Woo, but, okay, uh, I'm gonna get fired. Like, um, um, what was the? I got this. I'm hired. Oh. So the, the, huh. the main goal was to get our to experience their lifeguarding and then to mm-hmm. get our bronze medallion so that we're like we're certified, official, to, we're certified to lifeguard over there. Oh really? But because yeah. of like political oh, issues and well, basically we didn't have enough. We didn't get enough time to patrol. Yeah. So um, we did not get it, but we we have all the training needed. Oh, so okay, when cool. we go back, we just have to do we a few more controls, and then uh-huh. we'll get it. So you guys are actually going to go. So that's actually another question yeah. I had was, uh, you guys any plans to go back? Yeah, oh, we're, yeah. we're planning on going in December. Yeah. All of you? Yeah. Uh, I'm, so I'm, plan- I'm going. Dylan and I are planning on going. This I'm going to try and go in December. I'll try. Yeah. And then we're going so go back. So you guys, guys going to go? Like, what's the plan when you go back? We're going to go to Tyro. I think we're going to fly into Auckland and then go. Into Tyrua. We're going to get our bronze medallion in Tyrua. Yeah. And then maybe go spend a few days in Pihar. Uh-huh. Okay. And then two places we didn't get to see, Raglan. So if anybody here well. is watching from New Zealand or uh, like has any um, comments, you can leave them down in the comments. Like I said, we're not, we're not answering at the beginning. I said we're not answering any mm-hmm. just because there's only us here. Mm-hmm. Um, but if you guys got any uh, tips for anybody from New Zealand or if you've been there and you really enjoyed it and these guys are going back, and um, you feel like they didn't visit the uh, the best places, mm-hmm. which they sound like they actually went to quite a few. Right? Good food places. Like yeah, good food no. places. Ferg so, Burger. Yeah, oh, Ferg Burger is. Yeah. You're the real local. Yeah. Sweet, sweet. Yeah, let let them know. Um, uh, did you guys get to meet up with? Um, we did not get to meet Mikey Baker. No, no, that didn't work out. Yeah. Okay. Well, that sucks. Well, Mikey, if we'll you if you listen listening, these guys are gonna be back. So. Yeah. Um, don't do a workout with Maddie Kerr. It's hell. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Don't. Yeah. So um, yeah. something something else I want to ask just to finally finish this up and round it off. Uh, thanks everybody for joining us on. Uh, I don't know if you stuck with it, but this will be on our Facebook. Um, so yeah, check it out. But um, any questions for each other? And I don't really kind of know what questions you're going to ask, but like. <laughs> um, well, Chapin did this uh, really. Uh, Fun thing. Oh, uh-oh. so um, tell us how did you become a uh, Chapin or Father Chap, uh, the surf pastor? Well, it all started when Joey wanted to stop live streaming <laughs> every so, day. I, 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 boys. <laughs> I wanted to know. I wanted him to know how much he was sinning. <laughs> so I found a Bible. Yeah. In our hotel room, and we had um, conjoined rooms with like a door between, and we had it open. So I walked in with the Bible, and he was live streaming. And for some reason, I started making up Bible stories. He made parodies to Bible stories. <laughs> about <laughs> surfing. Stories. But about surfing. Which, yeah. luckily, no one got mad at me. No. That could have been bad. Yeah, yeah. that could definitely go. Yeah. Nice. Mm-hmm. But it was just for fun. It was yeah. just for fun. <laughs> <laughs>
just a prank. This is a prank. Just a prank. This camera there. Cool. There, so, there. Yeah, it's uh, three. Chapin's now the uh, the so, so it's it's father. Pos, pa, fa, yeah, father. Yeah, sir. Father Chapin. Yeah, he stokes us before yeah. sessions and stuff. Yeah. yeah. If there's no waves, I've been failing lately, as you can see. If you yeah. Two waves. yeah. Sorry, guys. Cool, man. Well, you're leaving. To Hawaii. Yeah, humping. Yeah. Okay, guys. Uh, so that's it. That's pretty much the qu all the questions I have for these guys. I'm super, uh, super stoked for them to uh, uh, to be going because I've been and I know what an amazing place it is. Uh, not only the surf, landed a long white cloud, but um, yeah, um, but they didn't get to see a rugby game because that would have been pretty cool. Yeah. Um, we'll but other than about. that, like, um, it sounds like they had a <laughs> they had like an amazing time, and um, so. If you guys have got any questions for any of them regarding either the lifeguard program um, or the junior lifeguard program, mm -hmm. um, because they actually um, they, they're there's three empty spots for them in the junior program. <laughs> We're going. Yeah. We're going. We're. Oh yeah, there you go. So uh, yeah, definitely um, let us know in the in the questions if you got any questions for any of these, or you just will tell them they're fools. Go ahead. <laughs> yeah, <I don't> <laughs> But uh, yeah, thank you very much for uh, for watching, and uh, thanks to these guys for coming in on thank their you. day off. Kiora, Kiora. Oh wait, hang on, one more question. Did you guys get taught how to do the uh, the haka? Yes, uh, oh, we we did. Get yeah, we get taught how to. We got we got taught how to do it, but <laughs> yeah, yeah, we got. Right? Oh, I'm not gonna tell what you've been chicken. But, uh, I'll tell it. Okay, go for it. <laughs> so I put up for a we're at a Maori cultural like, center. Yeah. Keep in mind. He's like, put up your right hand. But the person next to me put up their left hand. And so he, I thought he was looking straight at me. And he's like a scary dude. He's like, other right hand. So I was like, he's like, no other. So I was going to be like, this is not stupid. But he's talking to that guy. I know, the Maori guys, so they got all the tension. Yeah, they're terrified. Yeah, they're terrified. Yeah, yeah. 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 it's like, don't shoot So you guys, me. did they teach you how to do it? Yeah, we did. Yeah, we didn't do the hockey, yeah. but um, we did. Yeah. I'm not going to ask you. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for joining us. And I uh, really appreciate it. And thank you, New Zealand. Yeah. There's a creepy guy. Michael's watching it. Michael's on Hammond's like.